during that interview yesterday with the Cincinnati TV station, the president apologized for being late. Mm -hmm. He said it was due to little foreign policy issues. What was he referring to? So as you can imagine, uh, you know, we're not going to read into, uh, you know, every every aspect of the president's day. He meets regularly with his National Security Council and advisors. Uh, some meetings go, sh you know, go right on time and some meetings go a little longer. But I'm not going to read uh, anything uh, specific to that or I don't have anything to share on that one. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. Yesterday, some Senate Democrats sent the president a letter on high ga gas prices and how to combat those, including suggesting banning crude oil exports. Is President Biden considering banning those oil export exports? Which oil, the oil exports from? The Senate Democrats wrote a letter asking the president to ban crude oil. Okay, got it. The crude, got it. Um, so the administration is closely um, is closely and directly monitoring the situation, uh, and so we're going to continue to just keep an eye on this. And like I said, we're going to you know we have tools in our tool belts that we can potentially address this with. So the only other tool that we've heard mentioned, though, from the administration is maybe tapping the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. We haven't really heard anything else specific that the president is considering. Does that is that because he feels that his hands are tied when it comes to what he can actually do? to try to combat high gas prices? No, I wouldn't read, the, read it that way. We just don't have anything right now to, to announce. But like I said, we're monitoring this and uh, we're, we're, we're working through what is it that, how we can actually address this. And I want to ask you about another story that's just breaking yeah. from our Justice Department reporter. Um, two sources are telling Fox that National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is the foreign policy advisor mentioned in the former Clinton lawyer Michael Sussman's indictment. Uh, I understand that this just came across yeah. while you're at the podium, yeah. so you haven't probably had a chance to read into that, but what is the White House comment on that, and is there any conflict here, given that there has been news around the uh, indictment, uh, is there any conflict here that would preclude Sullivan from being able to carry out his duties? I, I, as you just said, Jackie, I'm just now hearing this, so I, I don't have a, a comment for you at this moment. I don't know anything about what you're, you're just mentioning, so I have to, to talk to our team. Yeah. And there has been news around the dossier, though, over the last couple of weeks, um, and sort of this feeling that it's falling apart after the revelations that the Clinton tied lawyer had lied to the FBI. Um, now, knowing what we know about the dossier, is there any concern that there was a lot of focus or too much focus on that? Uh, during the president's campaign. So, Jackie, I refer you to the Department of Justice. I'm not going to comment on that from here, from the podium. Go ahead.